Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We have another busy day on the books. I just got done with my classes. I had two today, and this weekend is going to be kind of crazy. I have the Megan Maroney concert on Thursday, and then I fly home on Friday. And I think my next couple videos are a little bit out of order, so bear with me. But my goal today and tomorrow is to just be as productive as possible and Wednesday, but I feel like I need to pack and focus on more YouTube, like social media stuff on Wednesday. In the next two days, I really need to get as much done schoolwork wise as I can. I'm trying to really prioritize my school before like any sorority events or YouTube stuff just so I don't fall behind or get off track. Cause I have two midterms, one tomorrow and then one the next day. How you doing? How's your day? Um, I just watched Sophie get her basket. Pi Fi, Kira Sorority is doing their big little basket stuff. If you saw mine or if you want to see mine, if you don't see it. It's in this vlog. Anyway, we're booked and busy. I'm going to Fiji date Dash. Is that Saturday? Mm -hmm. I won't be here. What? Oh, you're going home. Can you save pictures? <gasps> oh, beauty. Yeah. Apparently it's called Champagne and Shackles. Oh, so you have that's to stay, terrifying. Um, with a bottle of Welcome to productive school days of my life. First order of business is to make myself an emergency. So many people are getting sick. Emily's not feeling well. Like we're all just feeling a little stuffy. So I'm gonna make one of these before I go about my day. I also have like four packages to pick up at the UPS store. So we'll have a little unboxing. And I'm so glad it's still warm outside. It's gonna be warm all week, which blows my mind because it snowed here usually it like starts snowing in october but it's like 78 degrees here's the to-do list i'm going to take my anthropology quiz get the packages i gotta eat lunch at some point but that's not really a to-do study for the midterms i was talking about f45 class i signed up for that i'm gonna get my butt kicked because it's cardio and then chapter is tonight because it's monday i also have some editing as i always do that i need to finish post a reel post a tiktok oh i also need to do my laundry i have a mountain of laundry I'm to put laundry. in the washer i fight demons with that thing this tripod has a mind of its own i was using it as a towel hanger but it's just like it's so hard to maneuver it literally is just like i need to compress it deconstruct it i don't know what the word is someone else in the dorm has strep Ew, it smells. He smells like citrus. I need to mix it. It looks like pee. Mm -hmm. Wait, what about a, a filter? Oh, genius. Thank you. I made my water here. Okay. First is to do my like on-campus errands, get the packages, print my study guide, and eat lunch. Done with this. Here is my lunch. I just went to the grab and go thing. I got these veggie rolls and amame and chips. And I have three packages. I don't know what one of them is, but I'm gonna eat really fast and then I'll go open them. I know what this is. It's this Princess Polly skirt, but I got it from PacSun. I saw Grace wearing this cargo skirt and it influenced me to buy this one. I think I'm gonna wear it to the concert on Thursday with my boots. So I'll link it down below. I also had to spend like five more dollars to get free shipping and shipping itself was over five dollars. So I got these little cross earrings and I'm excited because I get to switch out this second piercing soon for little hoops and something that's not a stud. Last thing, I partly opened this because I was like, what the heck is this? Like I was feeling the bag and it literally felt like a dog bowl, but I realized it's because Allie ordered it. That's why I didn't know what it was. She had it shipped here for Halloween because me and Grace and Allie are going to be flight attendants one of the nights. So it's our costumes for that. I need to find a place to put all this so I don't lose it because these are so cute. Airplane pins. Me and my water and my devices have ventured to this little study room. I didn't know this was here. It's so cute. New filming location unlocked. Whenever I'm filming in common areas, I just pray that people don't come in. Cause I just have to be like, hi. It's just awkward. I'm about to take my anthropology quiz. I've talked about this a little bit, but I'm in this anthropology class. It's really hard and it's all quiz based. Like it's lectures in class. And then outside of that, we only have quizzes. Those are our only assignments. There's one like extra credit opportunity in November, but literally the first day of class, the professor said that the average has been, oh, there's my laundry timer. Um, He's been teaching the class for like over a decade and the class average has always been a 73 or 72 or something like that. So I knew that I was gonna be in for a little bit of a challenge and we 
had this practice test a couple weeks ago and I had no idea what was going on. It was like pairing genetics and just stuff that I don't understand and I'm totally not interested in because I'm a communications major. Anyway, I used Wiseant for tutoring and they actually reached out to me to work on this video. I'll insert some videos here, but it's a really cool platform that I think is so beneficial for all kinds of students, whether you're in middle school, high school, college, beyond. I had a great experience in my session. It was super easy to upload files for my tutor to see and she could mark them up and it was such an easy and seamless back and forth. And I got a 93 on the last quiz that I took after the tutoring session and I actually felt confident in my answers. It makes so much sense, especially for me as a college student because I don't have to travel to go meet up with a tutor. It was all online on Wiseant's platform. It's super convenient. I was able to literally join straight from my dorm desk. I didn't have to go out of my way at all. And I also didn't have to worry about credibility. The first tutor I actually reached out to wasn't able to help with like the area or the subject that I was looking for. And I had five other tutors reach out to me without going out of my way, wanting to help me. And it just made the whole process so easy and so much less intimidating because I knew I was talking to somebody who knew what they were talking about and it was all virtual. So like I was saying, lessons take place virtually, but they can also take place in person. And when you're on your session, there's interactive whiteboards that you and the tutor can use math editing tools. I mentioned earlier how easy it is to upload files. You can also record sessions to review them later. If you're struggling in your classes or you feel behind or you just want to learn more about a certain subject, I would a thousand percent recommend Wizen and you can click the link in the description. And I'm also going to leave it here on the screen with a discount code. There's no recurring subscription because you just pay per session and they have something called the good fit guarantee, which means if you schedule a session and complete it and you feel like the tutor wasn't a great fit, you can get your first hour fully refunded. I'm super passionate about stuff like this because I know that everyone learns so differently. I have ADHD and I have family members and friends that struggle with things like dyslexia and dyscalculia and getting one-on-one -on -one help can be so incredibly valuable. So I'm going to leave the discount code and the link down below in the description box. Wisent has over 65,000 experts that specialize in over 300 subjects so you can get the help you need super easily. <sighs> this quiz. I literally dread it. I don't want to do it, but it needs to be done. So I'm going to finish that and then go to my workout class. And by the time that's over, I'll be going to Delta Gamma for chapter dinner. I'm hitting the slump in my day. Like I need a little snack or a treat or something. Okay. I'll see you when this is done. I miss my workout class. I got like carried away. I was doing the quiz and other assignments, but we're at dinner at the house. They ran out of vegetables, but um, how was it? <laughs> oh, um, this is Izzy, by the way. I'm Izzy. Delicious. Okay, good. Anything is better than dining hall food. That's Anything is better than the C4C. That's fine. Take a minute try. Yay! We're done with chapter. Finally. Well, introduce yourselves, please. Oh yeah. Hi, I'm Ellie Biggers. I'm also a Delta Gamma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kaya Kopang. Um, we're best friends from oh, yes. Home. Wait, so, uh, yeah. Um, I don't even know what to say. About what they're waiting. <laughs> I'm Ali Beach, and I'm a teacher, and I'm Chloe Michelle, and this is and I'm Sienna Tammy, and we're all <laughs> we're delirious. Anyway, this is the house. I haven't showed you guys much of it, but she's real cute. And Barb, the house mom, put up all her decorations. We are going to frozen yogurt. Froyo. This frozen yogurt place has the most insane toppings of all time. There's so much stuff. It just never ends. There's so much. I'm back on campus from the Froyo place and I'm going to the library right now. It's open till 11. I have a lot of little random things to finish. I know if I go back to my dorm, I'm just not gonna do them. Because I'm gonna go on my phone and go on TikTok and start decompressing from the day, but I don't have time for that. So I'm going to the library and I'm just gonna sit in there and crank out everything else I have to do. Look who I ran into. Hey. It's my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go to bed. Good night. We're so tired. Okay, I'm back to my dorm. I'm so proud of myself for getting so much work done at the library. I stayed until it closed. I stayed till 11. Oh, this is so blurry. But I'm back getting ready. Hello? Hold on. Okay, I'm back getting ready for bed and I need to get in bed as soon as possible because I have my 8 a.m. tomorrow and I just have to be up super early. These shorts I have on are from like 2020 cheer camp and they're literally the most comfortable shorts that I own. I think they were from Old Navy. They're the best. Anyway, I don't know why I don't go to the library more often because I literally got so much done, especially on that whiteboard. And the library is super cool. It's beautiful on the outside for one. And they have three levels for studying. There's a conversational level, a whispering level, I think it's called, and then a silent level. So if you want to be 
in a completely silent environment with no distractions. You can go up to the third floor. And tonight just inspired me to be in there a lot more than I have been. Anyway, I will update you guys in the morning tomorrow. My skin is still not back to normal. Normal as in like how it was when I was home. But I just think that's because of the dining hall food and the dorm water. And it just is what it is. For those of you who don't know, I went on Accutane my freshman slash sophomore i think it was my freshman year of high school i used to have a really bad like painful cystic acne especially on my back from when i did swim and that helped my skin a lot but i still break out but i'm always grateful that it's not as painful as it once was i also think the salt water played a big role in my skin because i was in the ocean so much over the summer and it made my skin so happy obviously it's not that way anymore <laughs> unfortunately time for bed me and my fifteen thousand things we're going back to the dorm good morning everyone happy tuesday i'm back from class i woke up this morning like 20 minutes after i was supposed to and i freaked out because i thought i missed my class and i had the midterms so i would have been screwed if i wasn't there so i got ready really fast and went and took it and i got a 90 so i feel good about that i tried to dress up a little bit today because i thought it would make me feel a little bit more productive like not realizing that i was going to change because i have a workout class. I just picked up another package from the UPS store. I also went to the dining hall and got an egg bowl for breakfast and it was so good. Most of the time the dining hall food is very mid, but those always hit. I got more makeup remover because I was almost out. Another busy day today, just like trying to do the most. I don't know where I put my phone. This happens about 12 times a day. This reminds me, I'm gonna take my ADHD medication. I keep this little thing in my backpack because I like to take my medicine with food because usually it makes me nauseous if I don't because I usually don't eat before I leave the dorm. Hey Siri, where are you? Oh my gosh. Under my desk. I don't know how it got there. Tasks for today. I got to go to Michael's, get a plaque for this sorority painting thing we're doing for initiation, film b-roll clips for an ad. I'm going to Core Powered a little bit and then I'm meeting my friend Sydney at a coffee shop. We're just going to get stuff done there. Finish editing my family weekend vlog, homework for my online class, voiceover TikTok I edited, study for tomorrow's midterm. I think I'm getting together with a group of people from that class later. I reserved us a room at the library, but I don't know if it's going to happen. They sort of all tangled. And then study tables tonight at the DG house. So I'll probably end up getting dinner there too. And I really want to go to Crumble because we're doing a fundraiser for Crumble. There's a big philanthropy event at the end of this week, which I'm missing. I already had this trip planned, so I'm sad to miss it, but I couldn't change my flights or anything. We have restaurant fundraisers going on all week for that. And today is Crumble. That's everything besides the general like emails, you know, little canvas assignments, things like that. It's going to be a great day. I wasn't in a great mood when I woke up this morning. So I was like, I don't want to film. Like I'm so tired right now. I felt like I was in such a rush getting ready to get to class on time and take that test. And I put my headphones in to walk to class and I turned on this song and it literally flipped my morning upside down in the best way it put me in the best mood so if you're having a bad day listen to this it's praise by elevation worship and i just kind of felt like god was telling me to be grateful and thankful my mom used to always say when we woke up like this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it so i want to rejoice and be glad in this day and try to get as much done as possible i'm gonna clean up my mess from this morning and you're ready to work out i look oh, like a wet rat we make a compilation of all we of our do, talking after. but we got our butts kicked <laughs> we're doing better power. guys it's yeah. easier now mm -hmm. keep going and you'll get better we did Life it motto. Cheers, yay. I did not finish strong on this vlog, but I did finish strong on all my work. I was in this coffee shop for like six hours. I didn't even end up doing any of my errands. And then the next morning I woke up, went to the library and finished studying before my midterm. And that's gonna be all for this vlog. I have to pack for my flight right now, so I don't have time to film an outro. So this is what we're working with, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you again to Wisen for sponsoring. Everything you need to know to set up your session is down below in the description box. I love you guys so much and I will see you so soon in my next next video.